Today, pressure among lawmakers is building in the nation's capital as a growing number of Americans continue to call for gun control reform, following the deadly Uvalde, Texas school shooting, costing the lives of 19 children and two teachers. Pain is palpable, and I think a lot of it's unnecessary. Biden, who earlier this year called on Congress to pass gun control legislation, says he believes Republicans blocking progress on the issue will this time take a hard look. It makes no sense to be able to purchase something that can fire up to 300 rounds. Meanwhile, a group of bipartisan senators are taking part in what Connecticut Senator Chris Murphy called serious negotiations on possible gun safety legislation. There are more Republicans interested in talking about finding a path forward this time than I have ever seen since Sandy Hook. On the table and widely popular among Americans, red flag laws, strengthening background checks, safe gun storage, and mental health resources. Another proposal, raising the legal age to buy any gun to 21, something then Republican Governor Rick Scott signed into law after the school shooting in Parkland, Florida. Some Republicans, like Illinois Representative Adam Kinzinger, who owns an AR-15, says it's time for reforms. I'm a strong defender of the Second Amendment. We have to be the ones putting forward reasonable solutions to gun violence. Still, some Republicans, like Arkansas Governor Asa Hutchinson, are still against an assault weapons ban, telling CBS he places the blame for mass shootings on other factors. It is about the human heart. It is about identifying uh, the culprits and going after them. Senate Majority Leader Chuck Schumer gave the bipartisan group of lawmakers working on gun control legislation 10 days to report back with possible solutions. Ike Ajachi, ABC News, Washington.